Hello students today we will learn a short topic that is uh, intermuscular spaces of arm or uh, subscapular spaces which are present on the posterior side of the arm these spaces uh, are very important during surgeries so it is a short topic we will finish it off very soon so intermuscular spaces are clearly visible on the posterior aspect of the scapula and the humerus so here we can see a schematic picture showing the intermuscular spaces from the posterior view of the scapula and humerus so this spaces when you do dissection you have to reflect the posterior part of deltoid so after removing the posterior part of the deltoid we can expose these spaces the knowledge of these spaces is important during surgeries of shoulder region so what are these spaces you can see three gaps here this is called as the quadrangular space and this is the upper triangular space and this is the lower triangular space you can see three place spaces clearly so a quadrangular space so quadrangular space it is uh, having boundaries you can see all four sides superiorly the quadrangular space we can see here teres minor muscle teres minor muscle it gets origin from the upper part of the lateral border of the scapula and we can see it is getting inserted to the uh, greater tuberosity of the humerus so apart from teres minor along with teres minor there is a muscle from anterior side that is subscapularis and also here will be the capsule of the shoulder joint which is forms uh, the capsule of the uh, shoulder joint or glenohumeral joint so that also forms a superior boundary so teres minor subscapularis capsule of the shoulder joint between the uh, these two muscles so these are the structures forming the superior boundary of quadrangular space inferior boundary what is this muscle you can see here this is teres major so teres major you can see it is getting origin from the lateral border of the scapula and we can see it is getting inserted to the intertubercular sulcus so that is inferior boundary the medial boundary medially we can see this muscle which is going along the posterior compartment of the humerus so this is long head of triceps you can see it gets attached to the infraglenoid tubercle here so long head of triceps forms the medial boundary so the medial boundary what is this muscle what you are seeing is the long head of triceps so medially long head of triceps and laterally what you are seeing here the neck of the humerus so this part of the neck is called as surgical neck of humerus so these are the boundaries of quadrangular space so next we shall see the boundaries of upper triangular space this is upper triangular space so upper triangular space superiorly it is formed by what is this muscle teres minor and inferiorly by teres major and laterally by long head of triceps so these are the boundaries of upper triangular space lower triangular space this space is the lower triangular space so laterally it is bounded by the shaft of humerus and medially by the long head of triceps again and superiorly by the teres major so this is teres major muscle so these are the boundaries of quadrangular space upper triangular space and lower triangular space so let's see the contents contents of the quadrangular space we can see an artery and the nerve the nerve is the axillary nerve axillary nerve winds round the surgical neck of humerus along with the axillary nerve we have got an artery which is 
posteriorly present along the humerus so it is posterior circumflex humeral art artery and uh, we can see a branch giving off to the teres minor also this is branch to teres minor given by the axillary nerve in the quadrangular space and this is the pseudo ganglion which is associated with the axillary nerve so this is nerve to teres minor upper triangular space the content here we can see a blood vessel uh, which is winding round the scapula so something winding round it is called as circumflex so it is circumflex scapular artery and lower triangular space we can see a very thick nerve which is the radial nerve which is present along the spiral groove or the radial groove present along the uh, shaft of the humerus so here it is in direct contact with the shaft of the humerus within the radial groove so this is a radial nerve and along with the radial nerve the deep branch of brachial artery called as profunda brachial artery so these are the contents in each space so this is a beautiful picture showing a real image so this here is the quadrangular space and uh, we can see above it is formed by teres minor this is teres minor muscle and we can see the capsule of the shoulder joint and uh, also subscapular subscapular is it is not well appreciated it is present little anteriorly hiding below these two things and this is teres major muscle and we can see the long head of triceps and uh, here is the quadrangular space showing the axillary nerve along with it is circumflex humeral artery so posterior circumflex humeral artery and uh, this is the upper triangular space where we can see circumflex capillary artery and this one is the lower triangular space where it is related to radial nerve radial nerve is the content of the space along with it profunda brachial artery so this is a quick revision of uh, spaces on the back of the arm or uh, intermuscular spaces or we can say it as subscapular spaces